He's in there, all right. Bound to come out eventually. Supposed to be meeting up with Alvarado. Little big business? Intel says 160 pounds of coke is gonna change hands. Jesus Christ. It's all bullshit. Think he's gonna bait and switch? Hmm. Seeds? Huh? Oh, no. No thanks. I've got some vanilla. So you don't think Marquez is on the level? You fucking kidding me? Just Ian the Madman. This motherfucker's responsible for 500 plus deaths in Dade County alone. His idea of a fair deal? Taste the coke? Put six rounds in the courier. Is that homemade? Huh? The granola, is it homemade? Oh, yeah, I made that. It smells delicious. How'd you make it? Oh, I, I just laid some oats out in a pan, drizzle a little honey over it, bake it at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you have dried cranberries, even better. Huh. Your first steak out? Yeah. Yeah. I remember my first steak out. We're staking out this real fucker. Francisco Nunez. One of Pablo Escobar's early runners. We got intel he's meeting up with Charlie Armando. Pretty much the engine of the entire Florida Coke cadre. So we tail him out, past Key Biscayne, out of Dade County, near this little alcove. Some middle of nowhere beach. Is that guac? Brought chips and guac to a stakeout. It's homemade. Can I have a chip, please? It's really good guac. I know, right? Mmm. Yeah. There's a little secret. I'm tasting something. What is that? Ginger. Ginger. What do you know? So we follow Nunez into this little alcove. We had a radio for backup. Figured we're a good tail. He doesn't know shit. There's an ambush. Bunnies with assault rifles, 600 rounds a clip. Just waiting for us. My partner got killed straight off. Me? Yeah, I was lucky. I can still piss standing up. It just doesn't come out of my dick anymore. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Pho? You brought pho. Yeah. To a stakeout. We might be here a while. Did you make that? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Baba. I mean, the key to good pho. Anyway. Me and the madman. As soon as he leaves the house, we radio for backup. We don't make our presence known. Not until there's backup. Some dessert? What the fuck, Baba? Here, tell me if this is good. Mm. It's amazing. Not too much salt? That's perfect cookie dough. Thank you, thank goodness. You're an amazing chef. Thank you. I brought a small generator and an easy bake oven. I'd like to get started on these pie crusts. Baba. Can I help? So the key to a good pie crust is? Uh huh. Ice water. Ice water. Mm-hmm. Very important to keep the mixture cold. You can't overhandle the dough. Do not overhandle the dough. Here, put that in the food processor for me, pretty please. All right, if you overhandle the dough, it tends to get a bit too mushy. Then you can't roll it out. Then you have to add flour and the flavor's ruined. Yeah, this is perfect. Wow. All right. Now with the pie filling, okay? So you don't want to add too much sugar. And then again, you don't want to add too little sugar. There we go. A spritz of lemon juice, and you're perfect. The citrus brings the berries to life. All right. Now, 
There you go. Just get that on there. Nice and easy. Perfect. For the finishing touch. Butter on top of the pie crust adds crispiness. This is the first pie I ever made. No way. Way, Baba. Way. <laughs> well, we have to take a picture. Dude. Yeah. First pie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? Those cookies. Not enough salt. Hey, they're delicious. They were delicious. You know what we should try? What? Lemon meringue.